Welcome to lecture 6. Let's start with a weird question. What's your spirit organ? When I was on the surgical rotation, my chief resident said theirs is the pancreas. Most of the times, the pancreas just sits there inconspicuously, but when prodded, it can cause a huge trouble for everyone. Personally, I think this description is very apt for the endocrine system. So today, let's talk about all the different hormones and the mess they cause, putting special focus on diabetes. Let's talk about the organs first. To say hypothalamus, it will be xia qiu nao. The thalamus is qiu nao. Pituitary gland is nao chui ti. Chui meaning dangle. So nao chui ti is just the stuff that dangles below the brain. So the pituitary gland. The pineal gland is song guo ti. Thyroid is jia zhuang xian. Think of the shape of the thyroid. Does it kind of look like the character jia? Parathyroid is jia zhuang pang xian. Pancreas is yi xian. The adrenal gland is shen shang xian. The cortex and the medulla of the adrenal gland is pi zhi and sui zhi. Ovary is luan chao and testicle gao wan. We'll talk about the reproductive organs in the next lecture. Lastly, adipose tissue is zhi fang zu zhi. We're going to talk about some hormones next. And just as there are some nomenclature in English regarding how the hormones are named, there's some nomenclature in Chinese as well. So the effective hormones are named by the secreting organ or their function. So it'll be something su or something ji su. Whereas the tropic hormones will be zu, something ji su. Tu meaning to stimulate. And the tropic hormone releasing hormone will be Tu Ji Su Shi Fang Ji Su. Shi Fang Ji Su is releasing hormone. To say somatostatin, it will be Shen Zhang Yi Su. Yi meaning to inhibit. Oxytocin will be Tui Chan Su. Tui meaning to accelerate. And Chan is the abbreviation of Shen Chan, which is delivery. Growth hormone is shen zhang ji su. Prolactin will be cui ru su. Melatonin will be tui hei ji su. Thyroxine will be jia zhuang xian su. Notice that this time is named after the organ itself. To make thyroxine, you need the iodine, which is called dn. The thyroid stimulating hormone is cu jia zhuang xian ji su. Whereas the TRH will be Tsu Jia Zhuang Xian Ji Su Shi Fang Ji Su. Parathyroid hormone will be Jia Zhuang Pang Xian Ji Su. Epinephrine is Shen Shang Xian Su. And aldosterone will be either called Quan Zai Tong or Quan Gu Chun. Cortisol is Pi Zhi Chun. Lastly, adrenal corticotropic hormone or ACTH is Tsu Shen Shang Xian Pi Zhi Ji Su. Shen Shang Xian Pi Zhi Ji Su is another name for cortisol. The antidiuretic hormone is Kang Li Miao Ji Su. The other name for it is vasopressin, which is Jia Ya Su. Renin is Shen Su. Angiotensin is Xue Guan Jing Zhang Su. Jing Zhang meaning to tense. Leptin is Shou Su. And Garolin is Wei Ji E Su. Gonadotropic releasing hormone will be Tsu Xing Xian Ji Su Shi Fang Ji Su. The follicle stimulating hormone, Luan Pao Ci Ji Su. And the luteinizing hormone, Tsu Huang Ti Shen Chen Su. The corpus luteum is Huang Ti. Insulin is Yi Dao Su. And glucagon, Yi Gao Xue Tang Su. Some of the names of the hormones in Chinese are self explanatory especially the ones named after the organ themselves. So a lot of the times, we don't consider it as jargon. Let's see some practices. To say insulin and glucagon control the levels of glucose in blood, high blood sugar can be a result of lack of insulin or response to insulin. In Chinese, that is. Yi dao su he yi gao xue tang su kong zhi xue ye zhong pu tao tang de han liang. Gao xue tang shi que shao yi dao su he dui yi dao su de fan ying de jie guo. Translating it into English, 甲状腺激素控制身体的代谢速度, 
，检查甲状腺功能需要测量甲状腺素和促甲激素。That would be thyroid hormone controls the speed of body's metabolism. Checking thyroid function requires measurement of thyroxine and thyroid stimulating hormone. Here are some symptoms for the endocrine diseases. To say goiter, it will be 甲状腺肿大 There's also a colloquial term called 大脖子脖子 meaning neck, and 大脖子 just meaning the neck is huge. Dry skin will be 皮肤干燥 Hair loss is 掉发 or 脱发 Hair growth is 毛发增生 Fatigue is either 疲劳疲乏 or 乏力 Irritability will be 烦躁 or 易怒 Anxiety is 焦虑 and stress 压力 Sleep disturbance 睡眠障碍 Weight gain will be 增重 Bruising will be 淤血 Tremor is either 颤抖 or 哆嗦 and sensitivity to heat or cold is 容易热 or 容易冷 Hyperglycemia is 高血糖 and hypoglycemia 低血糖 Polydipsia is either 多饮 or 反渴多饮 is the more colloquial and easily understood term here. Polyuria is 多尿 Increased appetite is 食欲增加 and acidosis 酸中毒 alkalosis 碱中毒 Let's talk about some endocrine conditions. This page looks bad, but it isn't actually that bad. To say hyperthyroidism, it will be 甲状腺功能亢进 or simply 甲亢亢进 meaning hyper, and 功能 is function. Versus hypothyroidism will be 甲状腺功能衰退，衰退 meaning a regression. Common reason of hypothyroidism in iodine replete countries is Hashimoto's thyroiditis, and that is called 桥本氏甲状腺炎 Hypoparathyroidism will be 甲状旁腺功能衰退 To say pituitary tumor, it will be 脑垂体肿瘤 Which of course causes a host of conditions. SIADH is 抗利尿激素分泌不当综合征 Remember that 抗利尿激素 is antidiuretic hormone. 分泌 is secretion, and 不当 is inappropriate. 综合征 is syndrome. Cushing syndromes is 库欣综合征 I know this one's easy. Or you can say 皮质醇增多症 Which simply means hypercortisolism. Hyperaldosteronism will be 高全甾酮症 Adrenal insufficiency is you guessed it, 肾上腺功能衰退 Acromegaly will be 肢端肥大症 Gigantism, on the other hand, is 巨人症 Remember that in acromegaly, it is often the end of the extremities that is ground. So it is called 肢端肥大 Lastly, hypogonadism is 性腺功能衰退性腺 means gonads. Let's talk about diabetes. Type one or type two diabetes will be 一型糖尿病 or 二型糖尿病 Pre-diabetes is 糖尿病前期 Diabetic ketoacidosis is 糖尿病酮酸中毒 Tong Xuan is keto acid. Neuropathy is 神经病变 Remember, it's never 神经病 Retinopathy is 视网膜病变视网膜 is the retina. Vascular diseases is 血管病 Chronic kidney disease, 慢性肾病 Metabolic syndrome is 代谢综合症 Remember that in some lectures ago we talked about san gao, which is another term for 代谢综合症 in Chinese. Gestational diabetes is 妊娠期糖尿病 Here are some practices. When your patient says, 我最近总是很疲惫，头发也掉了很多。别人说只是压力大和没睡好，但我一直工作压力大，也没出现过这个问题。
Your patient means, I'm always tired recently, and I've been losing a lot of hair. People say it's just stress and not getting good sleep, but I've always had stress with work and never had this problem. To say, do you notice yourself drinking, eating, and peeing more, but your weight is dropping? That is, 你有注意到自己多饮、多食、多尿，但体重下降吗？ Lastly, to say, 糖尿病不控制会导致血管损伤，最终导致神经和视网膜损伤. That will be uncontrolled diabetes can cause vascular damage, ultimately causing neuropathy and retinopathy. Here are some tests that you often see for the endocrine system. To test for fasting glucose, you're testing for 空腹血糖. 空 meaning empty, and 腹, of course, abdomen. Hemoglobin A1c is 糖化血红蛋白. 糖化 meaning glycolized, and 血红蛋白 is hemoglobin. To sleep blood sugar monitoring, it will be 监控血糖. C peptide is C tai or 连接态. 连接 meaning connecting. Glucose challenge is 葡萄糖负荷实验. Hormone panel is 激素检测. Hormone concentration, 激素浓度. And iodine uptake test, 射点率测试. Here are some common treatments for endocrine conditions. To say insulin injection, it will be 注射胰岛素. Versus the insulin pump is 胰岛素笨. As you know, there are many kinds of artificial insulin. Some of them long-acting and some of them short-acting. Long-acting is 长效. Versus here's some short acting or fast acting is to say metformin is commonly translated as the official term is the pituitary gland is the control center of the endocrine inhibitor is pituitary tumor commonly leads to endocrine dysfunction. Supplemental hormone is to say thyroidectomy.但甲状腺肿大有多重原因。That is. Iodine intake deficiency can cause goiter, but goiter can have multiple causes. Lastly, in this lecture, let's talk about diabetes. According to the CDC, people of Asian descent generally develop type 2 diabetes at an earlier age with lower BMI compared to Caucasians. And the possible reason is due to less muscle mass and more visceral fat compared to Caucasians. So current research suggests that Asians to be tested for hyperglycemia if their BMI is more than 23 compared to more than 25 in Caucasians. On the other hand, due to the body habitus, healthcare providers may actually be less likely to suspect or test for type 2 diabetes in Asians, although the risk for diabetes is not significantly lower compared to other groups. Here are some sentences that you may often use when talking about diabetes. Blood sugar and hemoglobin A1c are two tests we use to diagnose and monitor diabetes. Type 1 diabetes occur mostly in teenagers and young adults, and type 2 diabetes occur later in adult life. 血糖和糖化血红蛋白是确诊和监控糖尿病的两个测试。一型糖尿病多发于青少年，二型糖尿病则多发于成人。To say reducing sugar intake is an important part of controlling type 2 diabetes. Commonly used metformin has side effects. That will be 减少糖分摄入是控制二型糖尿病重要的一部分。通常使用的假伏明有副作用. When talking about insulin regimen, you may say both long and short-acting insulin are required to maintain euglycemia. Hypoglycemia can be acute and deadly, while hyperglycemia can cause chronic complications. 保持正常血糖需要长效和速效胰岛素。低血糖是急性且致命的。而高血糖会导致慢性病发症。When talking about carb control, you may say 
people with diabetes should aim to get half of their daily calories from carbs, which includes sugar and starch. That's about 200 and 250 grams of carbs per day. 糖尿病患者全天一半的卡路里应该来源于碳水化合物，例如糖和淀粉。这大约是全天两百到两百五十克碳水。To say if you're having trouble controlling carb intake, you can start by avoiding one of the followings: sweets, sugary drinks, juice, too much rice, and starchy vegetables. That will be. 如果您有困难控制碳水摄入。您可以从避开以下的一种食物开始，例如甜品、含糖饮料、果汁、过量的米饭或淀粉类蔬菜。Lastly, neuropathy from diabetes can cause pain and numbness. In the long term, it can lead to joint deformities and limb-threatening infection. That will be, 糖尿病导致的神经损伤会引起疼痛和麻木感，长期损伤会导致关节变形和威胁肢体的感染。Thank you for watching this lecture. As always, I don't have any conflicts of interest. The text and the slides in the workbook are written by me, and additional help are from members from CMIG at UCLA. Video editing is my Jasmine. Thank you, and see you next lecture.